Hi everyone, my name is Anthony Allen and welcome to my channel. My channel is going to be all about the process of buying and setting up a new mobile home. I'm making these videos just to inform people about the entire process of buying and setting up a new mobile home. A little bit about me, I'm a student at the University of Pikeville entering my sophomore year this fall and I just bought a pre-existing house as well as a brand new mobile home. If you're wondering where the University of Pikeville is, well, it's located in Eastern Kentucky in the heart of the Appalachian Mountains. So I decided to buy the houses, first of all, for the investment. Being able to be a landlord to other college students and collect rent while not having to work, just managing the properties was a huge plus for me, as well as not having to live on campus in the subpar housing. That's also a big advantage in my case. So it just made sense for me to buy two houses to be able to make income off of the property as well as live in there. So the first real step in buying a mobile home is finding where you're going to put this. One of the biggest advantages to a mobile home is you can put it anywhere. It's a mobile home. So it's very important to find a place that you like. That's the most important thing. Find a location that you like that's close to whatever you need, the stores, the schools, your work, whatever you need. That's the most important thing. And the next is if it fits in your budget. Can you afford to buy the lot? And the next one, what's it going to cost for the mobile home providers who are installing the mobile home? What is it going to cost them to move it there and hook everything up so you have utilities to the house? And then finally, one of the most crucial ones is checking on the local building codes. Now, this is a process that I have made many mistakes in, getting the wrong permits and having problems with the permits with the mobile home providers. Some places are very specific on what permits you need to move a mobile home like the place that I'm moving the mobile home to there are laws that say you need these special kind of permits to move it there or else it's not legal so you got to make everything legal so I got to go out of the way to get all these extra permits that wouldn't be net totally necessary in other places but since a lot's in such a prime location for me it's worth it in the end so this is the actual lot that I'm planning to put my new mobile home on. As you can see off to the right, there's a little stream that runs in between the lot and the road, and there's a pretty steep mountain to the left of it. Now what I'm planning to do to make the lot a little wider so we have more of a front and backyard is to take some of the dirt from the mountain, cut it away, and push it into the creek and kind of make a bigger flat space on top of there, as well as moving the telephone pole so it's not right in front of the house. This lot used to have an old mobile home on it, so it does have the advantage that it does have pre-existing lines run in the ground for utilities, which is going to save me money in the end when the mobile home providers come to hook it up. So that's really one of the biggest advantages about this property, and then it's so close to uh, my school. Whoa, what was that? Oh, it must be my house. It's all delivered already. Ah, uh, no, nah, just kidding. It's not that easy. It's going to take about a couple more weeks for it to get ready. But I'll talk about that in my next video.